I always ask God to show me His grace through um, everyday things. So the more that I get to see that, like the more I want to like grow my relationship with Him. And through Flood, I get to see that every single day. Like I get to see that when I get to see my leadership team just around the school. And um, the way that I get to connect with them and the way that we pray together and the way that we serve together, it like completely changed my heart. I would have never like thought to like share my like spiritual life with people like that are so different from me. But um, just like being able to like work alongside them, like I've grown to like um, love like all different kinds of people, which is so awesome because like um, God calls us to love everyone and anyone. And um, in the school, I feel like we pass by a lot of people in the hallway. I think one of the greatest examples would be during flood week. It was just a week when we really infused some love into the school, and I think it lasted after that week because the project that stands out to me was we put a raindrop on every single locker with an encouraging quote, a phrase, something to put a smile on people's face. And you could tell that people were happy when they saw it. People were excited. They were talking about it in the hallways. And it just made our school super positive and super happy. I didn't think of one serving experience off the top of my head that really changed me. I'm gonna remember it for the rest of my life. Um, we were getting ready for a street reach project and everyone had brought in their donations and my co-president Emily and I decided to go to Kroger and buy food to fill the bags with that we were going to hand out to the homeless. And while we were in Kroger, we were searching for little toiletries and we couldn't find something, I forget what it was, but we asked the manager um, if he could help us and he was like, oh, what are you guys doing? And we said we're doing a homeless outreach and he said to us, did you know that I was homeless for two years? And it took me aback because you wouldn't think this man just standing in front of you had ever been homeless. And he showed us what to buy. He was like, you need this, you need this. And what it showed me is there's life after homelessness. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. And he, the way he got out of that was people opening their hearts to him, giving their time to him, helping him out. And that really showed me the value that the volunteer work we were doing actually had on people. Because it's easy to think like, oh, I'm not doing that much, I'm just spending a weekend, but by going out and giving your time, you really make a difference on people like in the neighborhood. Flood is so different than the rest of the culture um, because the culture is always telling us that we need to be concerned with ourselves. Um, but what I love about Flood is that um, once you take the initiative, and you, you go out and serve, you see why that's wrong. You don't just go to a church service and, and know, oh, you know, you need to go help others. With Flood, you really feel why it's not always about you. Um, it's great to go serve other people, why we should serve other people, um, because it's something that you can't just wake up one day and realize. Um, it, it comes through experiences, and Flood is a great way for kids like me to get those experiences.